Hello guys, this is Ali and welcome to the first part of this series. In this series, we will learn how to use Kindle UI in ASP.NET MVC. First, let's talk about Kindle UI. So, Kindle UI is a framework created by Telerik. It allows you to develop rich applications. One of the biggest advantages of Telerik Kindle UI, you can use it in any technology, either you are working in ASP.NET MVC, ASP.NET Edge, AX, PHP, JSP, WinForms, WPF and Xamarin. Guys, this was the short introduction of Telerik Kindle UI. In this very first tutorial, we will learn about autocomplete HTML helper. There are two ways to bind Kindle UI autocomplete. One is the server side and second one is the AJAX. We will bind the HTML autocomplete using AJAX. And this is the demo that we are going to develop in this tutorial. First guy you need to install the Telerik Kindle UI. So download and install Telerik Kindle UI for ASP.NET MVC. Then open up Visual Studio and create a new project. Select Telerik and select Telerik C Sharp ASP.NET MVC application and give it a meaningful name. Kindle Demo 1. Press OK. Select standard option and press finish. Now this is creating the project and will take a little time. So the project is created successfully. First we need to add data entity model. Go to the solution explorer. Right click on models. Add. Add new item. Select data, adio.net entity model, models, press 8. Guys, we have already created a database, so I will select this option. Press next, create a new connection. Server name is local. Browse database. The database is North Wine database. Test the connection, press OK, give the name to the connection string, so connection string will be notwine db on text, press next. Press next, select tables, give it name to model, this will be model, press finish. We successfully added data entity model, so save it and close this window. Build the project. After this open the home controller under the home folder. First we need to access the data context class. Data context class is present in models folder. Demo 1 models. Create an object for data context class. Now we need to create an action method to get employee's name. This will be the search condition. Select employee and convert into list.
data dot where first name dot contain this text because we need only first name so we will select only first name so use the select clause in this way you can select only one column okay return json here pmp json behavior allow get okay now open the about view under the views folder select this code and delete from here such employee so we will create a container now we will use kendo ui html helper Kindle dot it has a lot of option we will use autocomplete okay first we will add the name property this will represent the ID of your control employee data text field first name this is the column name in database table ok dot filter starts with main length will be 3 this will start searching after third character okay now we will add the data source data source such that Action first parameter will be action name and the second will be the controller name we want to call the action method which is present in home controller so copy that method and paste it here and write the controller name which is home Okay. Dot data on additional data. This will be the JavaScript function. We will create it later. Okay. Server filter. save the changes now we need to create a javascript function so create a script section here
copy this function name and paste it right here return Now save the changes and run the project. Navigate to the about page. Now enter the name of employee. Guys notice here this will start search after third character. That's it for today guys, in next tutorial we will see how to display employees images with full name. So watch the next tutorial, thanks for watching.